Well, you've probably heard since the federal election back there in May that the uh, market's had a radical change. It's uh, come a long way, more than just green shoots on the market now. It's really come well alive with, uh, with buyers really hitting back. Um, we thought we'd just give you a bit of an insight into the market around the Whitehorse area. Uh, good sale in Sunnyside Avenue. Absolutely, mate. Yeah, booked in for a four-week campaign. We had strong interest early on. Three bedroom, one bath on a great parcel lane and good pocket in Unawadding. Uh, had a good offer come in halfway through the campaign and uh, we proceeded to negotiate with that buyer early in the campaign to get the deal done, uh, which was convenient for the owners. Yeah. Terrific. There was another good sale in Hannesley Street in Box Hill. This was just after the election. Uh, 120 groups of buyers went through that property, very popular as a single level unit. Uh, mainly downsizers looking at buying it, but it ended up selling to a young couple uh, who were making it their first home um, out of the CBD. So eight bidders there on the day, a reserve of $950,000 and sold for 1.1, in yeah. excess of $1.1 million. So a terrific auction there. Absolutely, yeah. Another one we had, 7A Alern Court, Nunawading, arguably one of the best homes in Nunawading. Um, about a six week campaign, over a hundred buys through, and ended up finding the perfect buy for the property too, selling within our range. So that was a great result too, yeah. And just the last one, also a single level property, uh, venturing just over the border into Burundara was uh, 5 at 30 Broughton Road in Surrey Hills, yep. an amazing quality unit. Uh, 10 years old, but you wouldn't have known it was a spectacular finish. We had a, a good response to that one, scheduled to go to auction, but sold three days before. Um, there was a retiring gentleman who had two weeks to go before his settlement, mm -hmm. and yep. uh, he was quite keen to secure it prior to the auction, and that managed to sell for $1.36 million, ahead of the $1.2 to $1.3 million quote.